How cute is this little spaceman balloon? I'm just going to show you a really quick last minute Father's Day gift idea today. If you can get hold of one of these from your local balloon shop or maybe card shop, you will be able to do this project over the weekend for your dad for Sunday. This balloon doesn't have to be filled with helium, you can fill it with air. It's got a little tab on the top so you'll be able to hang it up anywhere in your house or in your dad's home. So let's jump straight into how to personalise this. So the first thing that we need to do is just measure where we're going to put our decal on here and I'm thinking that maybe it's going to be around there so about 16 centimeters wide by about 15 or 16 so it's pretty square design size for this particular balloon. This is the design that I've chosen on Cricut Design Space for my balloon. I just typed in love you to the moon and all these different ones come up and this is the particular one that I really like. If you like it you can always drop down this code and search for it and then this is the design on the canvas now. So I'm going to add the word dad above the I love you as well so it makes it a little bit more personalized you could also add some children's names or love from or anything like that underneath if you wanted to so I'm just going to click on text here and type in dad thought about daddy but changed it to dad and then I'm just going to pop that in the center and go up to my drop down arrow to choose a font and the one that I've chosen is DTC Barn Acre, it's the one at the bottom there. I quite liked it because it's quite similar to the font that is actually already on there. So I'm just going to make some adjustments size wise now and get it exactly right for how I want my balloon to look. Now I just need to select my whole design and come down the bottom to attach. The reason that I'm using attach in this instance is because it's not a permanent thing which weld is a permanent thing. So if I wanted to make changes and maybe change it to daddy or put something else on there, I will be able to undo the attach by clicking on detach and reuse my design. So I'm just going to make a few more adjustments size wise and then I'm ready to cut. So I'll just go up to make it in the top right hand corner, the green button. So let's just get the cut settings ready now. You can see that this is just a basic cut, nothing fancy at all going on here. And I'm just going to select the vinyl setting and then I'm going to leave my pressure settings at default also for this one. For this design I'm going to be using this Intense Sparkles in the Silver Holographic this is a 305mm roll, so it's matte wide. You can buy this per metre in this size roll for £3.99 a metre from MDP Supplies. Or you can buy it in a 610 or you can buy it in a 610 millimetre wide roll, and then that works out to be £7.95 a metre. Okay, so the more you buy, the cheaper it is. Um, if you can stretch to 20 metres on one roll, it works out to be £3.85 a metre. That All these prices are exclusive of VAT, so you need to add that on as well. So let's get the mat ready. Uh, I am going to cut it today using a standard grip Cricut mat. This mat isn't that sticky, so I am going to give it a little bit of a helping hand and hold it down with a little bit of masking tape. So first of all, let's just get this laid onto here my design is approximately 17 centimeters across i'm going to give it a little bit of extra on there um, i'm actually measuring it out to be 19 I use this vinyl all the time, so any extra that doesn't get used in this cut, I'll use for a balloon, like a deco bubble or something, because this sparkly silver seems to be taking over from my rose gold. People seem to be requesting this one a lot lately. I've just actually done three bubbles this morning with this particular vinyl. I'm just gonna roll this back up because it's all come unraveled. Ok, 
how sparkly it is it's absolutely gorgeous and it's going to be brilliant for a spaceman so last time i went to primark i bought a load of hair bubbles and i just used them to hold my vinyl rolls together and because they are fabric they don't scratch or anything like that which is good okay so let's just pop a little bit of masking tape on the corners just to help this stay stuck down just go over the corners like that you don't need to really go mad with it but this just helps to keep everything flat whilst it's cutting let's just put a little bit across the top because it's a little bit of a squishy bit there let's give it a roll down as well okay that is ready look at the rainbow i love it this is now ready to weed so let's get going with that i'm going to just cut off the excess vinyl first and i always find it really handy to have on my screen on the computer exactly what it is that I've just cut out so that I can see what I'm weeding and where it should be so I might have actually I might have to go over that with a craft knife just at the top because it's on the masking tape line but we will see that in a second I'm going to flip it round this way and start peeling up from the bottom so let's grab weeding tool where's my weeding tool here's my weeding tool <coughs> okay there we go this piece can actually come off okay let's just grab that from the bottom we're going to be very very gentle with this because it's a pretty thin font so let's peel it up gently and go at a 90 degree angle and just give it a bit of a wiggle where we can. Some bits need a little, little bit of extra help just to come up. I'm just getting up to where the masking tape was now so let's just carefully peel that off and I'm going to just pull that no, it's gone through fine which is excellent so let's get rid of this little bit of masking tape and then all of the middles out of our words you could also personalise this with a child's name or love from. That sort of thing is always extremely popular. Let's turn it around and just double check that we've got all of the weeding out. Look at the sparkle. It is just, I know I keep saying it, but it is just absolutely stunning, isn't it? Such a beautiful vinyl to use. Okay, let's get it off the mat now. I don't need to bother flipping it over because there's hardly any stick on the mat to start with, so it's all good. Let's get some transfer paper. This is my usual transfer paper to tape, contour paper, low tack, perfect for balloons. We will have to be really careful with this one though because it's a foil balloon so it has got a printed colour on it to make the design of the spaceman. So if we're not careful we will lift colour up and we're going to do a little test first of all to see how delicate the print on the balloon actually is um, we're going to do it in a little space on the balloon that you won't see so that if it does lift off 
the colour it won't be too obvious so let's just cut that out there's that ready I'm going to just take a slice off the end here for my test okay now I'm just going to put away all my sharp bits so that when I bring the balloon over here we're not going to accidentally pop it because that would be very sad let's give this a little press down with a scraper Okay, so that's ready. Here's my little piece of transfer paper that I'm just going to test on. So let's just, here he is. I'm just going to do it right on the very top here. So let's just put that on. Get a little press down and see if anything comes up. No, nope, we're all good. Just do a little bit on here, just as a double check. No, we're all good. I didn't think that my low tack paper would let me down. Okay, let's get this design off and onto the transfer paper. So to do this, just flip it over, give it another press down on the back to make sure that it's really nicely adhered to the transfer paper. And then just peel back really gently. 90 degree angle as much as you can. So fold it over like this and just start to peel back if things lift up with it you can just press them back down as you go because it's a thin font sometimes it can be difficult to get off so when you're doing something like this i'd always recommend using a new piece of transfer paper or transfer tape sometimes i reuse mine um, and if it's a design like this it's difficult to get it off if it's a piece that's been used a couple of times so it is definitely a good idea where you can to use a new piece. Just keep pressing it as you go so that you can be confident that you've got all of your design. This M doesn't want to lift. Okay, there we go. So that's ready now. Now carefully, we just need to position him so that we can see where this is going to go. And I am going to have to do this one-handed, I think, because I'm not going to be able to push him up against my desk like I normally would do. So let's pop that on and hopefully get it nice and straight. When we're putting it on, we need to make sure that we only really go over the bits that have got the vinyl. We don't want to press down any more of the transfer tape than we have to. And even though we've checked that it doesn't tear off any of the colour, there is still a possibility that it could happen if you put a large amount of pressure onto the transfer tape. So just be aware of that. So just only go over the letters where they are. And as you can see, I've wrinkled that there. And that doesn't matter about wrinkling the transfer tape because underneath I know that my vinyl is really nice and smooth. I'm more happy to wrinkle my transfer paper than I am to wrinkle my vinyl design. So I'm just going to peel it back really gently because obviously I haven't pressed it down with that much pressure so that I don't damage the balloon. I'm just going to go back very, very gently. If I've got a bit that hasn't pressed, I can always add onto it. The good thing also about a font or a SVG like this one is that because there isn't much surface area, this vinyl will stay looking really good for a long time. Even when the balloon starts to lose gas, you won't really notice any bubbling of the vinyl because there isn't that much surface area to bubble. So now just go over it with your fingers and just check that you have got everything in the place that you want it to be. And that's all done. So here he is, a super, super quick bonus video for this week. 
for Father's Day. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've found it useful. If you have, I'd love to see you for the next one, so don't forget to subscribe. Drop me any comments down below with any questions and hit that like button as well. All that's left to be said is have a great weekend, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you for the next one. Happy Father's Day. Bye.